Hi everybody. Today, we will look at the changes of the Brown family. Back when the Alaskan Bush people premiered in 2014, Discovery Channel watching fans were all like, huh? What the heck is this show? It's about a family living off the land out in the middle of nowhere Alaska and not dying of frostbite every December? Can this be real? But in the years since, we've come to actually kind of love the wild brown family, and we mean wild in all senses of the word. Whether they're actually out there living in the bush, straight up just pretending to, or moving to a swanky home in LA due to some unforeseen medical issues, they're just living it up in front of the TV cameras and having a blast. Not too bad of a deal when you think about it. In the five years since they first started filming the show though, the family has changed a lot. Not only have they gone from the wilds of Alaska to the glitz and glamour of Beverly Hills to the way less remote wilds of Colorado, and now, apparently, to a swanky lakefront house in Washington state, they've also just grown up. Well, grown up might be a stretch for some of them, the oldest brother was already 30, aka more than well into his adulthood, when the show kicked off. But daughters Bertie and Drain, at least, have gone from baby-faced kids to practically adults. And though they may not be bush people any longer, though we'll have to wait for season 8 to air to see how they spin that on the show, they're still the same old brown family with their crazy facial hair and even crazier real names. We're still not over how perfectly fitting Noah's middle name is for him, or the fact that Rainey's name is short for Raindrop, which isn't even as out there as her actual first name, Merry Christmas. And no, that wasn't a random seasonal greeting. Ready to see how much the kids have changed over the years, though? Check out the gallery below to see how different the Brown family kids look since we first met them on the show, Matt Brown in 2014. The oldest of all the Alaskan Bush people kids, Matt was already 30, and graying, when we first met him on the show back in 2014. Matt Brown in 2018. Now, five years since they started filming, Matt's 35 and has gone even grayer than before. However, with his longer hair and in-shape physique, he almost looks somehow younger? Maybe it's the long hair, which he can frequently be spotted tying back in a man bun. Hey, we thought that was like an urban, hipster move, but we guess whatever goes in the bush. Bam Bam Brown in 2014 At 28 You'd think Bam Bam would have figured out how best to style his hair, and maybe he thought he had judging by how much product it looks like he's used. Side note do they have product in the bush? Is he improvising with like tree sap or something? What's his secret? Bam Bam Brown in 2018 A few years later, at 33, he's definitely worked some of it out. His now longer hair is looking more natural, and, Honestly, it looks great. Back in the day, we don't know that we would have said that Bam Bam was the hottest bush kid, but his look is kind of working for us these days. It does help that he seems like one of the most normal of the bunch, especially with how well he adapted to LA life. Bear Brown in 2014 Honestly, Bear was kind of rocking a solid Jesus-inspired look back in the day. And considering how religious the family is, that may have actually been his inspiration. But as the most extreme brother, his punching fish and scrambling up trees gave us a, uh, different vibe. Bear Brown in 2018 Minus the full beard, the look has a little bit of a different effect, and he's mastered the style of someone who would appear on Jackass, a show which we feel like Bear would love, by the way. Can anyone get him a copy of the show out in the Colorado wilds? At only 30, he's definitely started to looking a little old for his age, though. Must be something about living outside in the elements. Gabe Brown in 2014 With his sideburns and leather jacket, Gabe gave us serious Wolverine vibes from day one. All the then 22-year-old was missing was the actual claws shooting out from between his knuckles. 
Gabe Brown in 2018. He was a little camera shy on the show since mom Emmy was diagnosed with cancer, but since she's been in remission, he's been catching up with fans on Instagram. And he's still the same old gay rocking the heavy metal fan look at 28, only now he's got an eyebrow piercing, too. Noah Brown in 2014 Age 20 when the show started, Noah is the youngest of the Brown brothers, but he's always looked older than his age. We're pretty sure it's the facial hair that gave him the more mature vibe. Noah Brown in 2018 Years later at 25, his style hasn't changed a single bit, but he is getting more sun these days and, therefore, a little more color in his face, and his chest, especially his chest. Other than that, though, he honestly looks almost exactly the same. Which is to say that his looks are finally started to match his age. Snowbird Brown in 2014 even though she was already legally an adult when the show started, 18-year-old Snowbird always seemed on the younger side. Maybe it was being surrounded by four big brothers, or maybe just her sweet little face. Snowbird Brown in 2018 Between ages 18 and 23, she's grown up a lot, so much so that she finally looks like she's ready to graduate high school. And, like her brothers, she's settled into a little bit of an edgier style, rocking chokers, bracelets, and all manner of rings. DBH, we're feeling this look for Birdie. Keep doing your thing, girl. Rainy Brown in 2014 The youngest of the clan, little Rainy was only 10 when we first met her, but she always seemed wise beyond her years. Rainy Brown in 2018 Now 15, she's also gone through something of a style evolution, but for Rain, it's all about the edgy haircut. We're kind of obsessed with her short hairdo, which lends her an elegance and maturity more befitting of her attitude than her actual years. They've grown up so much over the years. The boys may have always been adults, but the girls have really changed right before our eyes. We can't wait to see more as the show goes on, whether it's in Alaska or Colorado or Washington. It's never boring with the Brown family, that's for sure.